Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Sephora in Ulta haul and I hope that you will enjoy it as much as I enjoyed spending money on things that I love. So let's jump into it. First, we're going to dive into the things I got from Ulta because that is where I got the most stuff. So we're going to start out with the fragrance. I had to pick this up. This is the YSL Libre. Libre? I don't know. Intense version. Looks like this. I've already opened it and I will say pleasantly surprised because I feel like I smelled the regular version of this and... I, it was a no-go for me, but so many people on YouTube have been talking about the intense version. I said, let me go ahead and give this a go. I normally buy the 1.7 ounces of fragrances. This is the one ounce bottle. There is no 1.7 ounce. It's just one ounce or three ounces, and I didn't know if I was going to love, love it, but let me tell you, I am regretting not buying that three ounce bottle now, but there's always a next time. So, woo, this smells so good. This smells so good. Let me just Spray it on. Okay, lasting power, longevity is there, guys. What makes this unique? I think there's a lavender note in here that is just prominent, but it's not like spa lavender. It's like masculine, a man that's been walking in the woods and he smells so good, but then there's like a touch of lavender and a little softness there and it's just, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. I would say, I don't know if I would say this is a unisex scent. I think it definitely is more like feminine, but it has some masculine undertones. I don't even know there. And I just love this. I love, I love this fragrance. I said this on my Insta stories, which if you're not following me on there, what are you doing? Because I post a lot of recipes. I post a lot of food, health, and beauty things on my stories. So make sure you check me out on there. But if Tom Ford's Noir Pour Femme and Garland's Mon, Mon Guerlain had a baby, it would be similar, not exactly the same, but it would be similar to the intense version of the YSL. So definitely at least go smell it. I don't see how you couldn't like it, but at least go smell it. Okay, so moving on and really kind of the why I needed to place an Ulta order to begin with was because I was running out of skincare things. I've just been on the hunt for a good um, face wash, one that's not necessarily really expensive, one that works. I have acne prone skin, I have combination skin. So really I'm oily like in my forehead and in my nose and I have congested pores in my nose area, but my cheeks are normal. They don't really break out. Um, so I needed something to combat, combat that and a lot of times acne related cleansers are very drying which is okay for my t-zone but for my cheeks my cheeks and around my mouth get dry because they are normal and they don't break out there this is the bomb okay this is the CeraVe acne foaming cream cleanser 4% benzoyl peroxide acne treatment clears acne pimples and blackheads helps prevent new acne and allow skin to heal. Guys, this is perfect. It's like a creamy substance. First of all, this packaging, pretty legit for a um, drugstore brand, but um, it's inexpensive and it doesn't strip my skin. And I feel that my skin is clean afterwards, which is something that is really important to me, especially after I'm like ticking off makeup and stuff. I don't normally buy cleansers with benzoyl peroxide. I think I tried a cleanser with benzoyl peroxide as a teenager and I wasn't super impressed, but I'm glad I gave this a try. Um, I've been using this for a few days and I really, really like it. Um, I should also add that it has ceramides, hyaluronic acid, and niacinamide. Niacinamide is really good for discoloration. Ceramides is really good for like smoothness of your skin and hyaluronic acid is good for like plumping of your skin and keeping it like hydrating or hydrated looking. So. Highly, highly recommend this. Active Moist one, this is the smaller bottle. I used to work at Ulta in college. This was actually my favorite job in college, working at Ulta. I worked in the prestige section and I would always get samples of Dermalogica, either from, what was it called? Gratis, which was like the free stuff they give you, like full free size products that they want you to try so you can sell it to um, the clients or just like making samples in the store. And Dermalogica, the active moist moisturizer was something that I came back to quite often. It's just a really good moisturizer. It doesn't clog your 
pores. It says it's oil-free prebiotic. I can't really even put my finger on why it's so good, but it performs well under makeup too. And I would say this is good for a lot of different skin types. If you have sensitive skin, if you have oily skin, if you have dry skin, you may need something extra in the winter, but this would be good for you if you, in the summer if you had dry skin. But I really, really like this and I'm glad that I remembered that I like this because it's not always easy finding a good moisturizer, especially if you have combination skin. You essentially have two different types of skin in your face. So women that bio oil works great on their stretch marks, not pregnant, but stretch marks are stretch marks, right? I've only tried this once, so I can't report back to you if this is actually really effective, but it has really, really good reviews on the Ulta site. Um, the smell is not offensive at all. I got the medium size. Yeah, I mean, it just kind of smells like what you would think oil would smell like. This is the 4.2 fluid ounces. Um, also helps with scars, uneven skin tone. I see people using this on their face too. I don't think I'm going to use this on my face. I have, um, the first ingredient is mineral oil. That's kind of interesting. We'll see. I'm, if I like it, I like it and I will report back to you. I have stretch marks mainly on my love handles. Yeah, in my hips. So I don't expect them to go away or disappear because I just don't. But I do expect them to fade with using this. So we will see and I will report back. All right, let's get into the fun stuff. Got some stuff from the brand Juvia's Place. Now, I know I'm late to the train, guys. I know I'm late. But the issue was, was that I felt like I couldn't sample it because it wasn't in the prestige section. It was sold in the like drugstore section of Ulta. And so I felt like I couldn't sample it. And then when COVID happened, it was like, no testers, no testers. I finally bit the bullet and I ended up buying, going back three different times to find my right foundation shade. Um, I actually bought, the first two I bought were too dark. And which is, a, which is, which is actually a good problem to have because that just speaks to the variety of shades that there are because I thought the first one I bought was going to be the one and it wasn't. It was too dark and too red. So I'm glad I finally landed on the right one. Um, the shade that I wear and I'm wearing this today right now in this video is Acra. I hope I'm saying that right. A-C-C-R-A shade 330. I believe this is described as for dark skin with olive, olive or yellow undertones. The packaging is just really little cute, slim, functional, nothing super amazing, but I will say this is a full coverage foundation. A little goes a long way. Even today, I had kind of forgot how full coverage it was, and I put quite a bit on my sponge, and then I was like, make sure I can blend this more places because I actually didn't need that much. Um, but I really, really like this foundation and it's affordable. I think it's 20 bucks. Right now I believe it's on sale on the Juvia's Place website. It's Black Friday. Time to treat yourself. I did go ahead and also pick up a Juvia's Place concealer. This is the shade 12. Kind of the same story with the um, concealer. I picked up two shades of the concealer before I ended up returning them. I got the wrong shade. The shades I got were too dark. 12 is perfect. It is yellow based. I use it under my eyes to highlight on the bridge of my nose a little bit in the center of my forehead and a little bit um, around my mouth, just a little bit. You only need a little bit of this. You only need a little bit of this. If you want to see a get ready with me, how I do my makeup with Juvia's Place products, let me know and I will make that my next video. I got two Juvia's Places lipsticks, one of which I'm wearing today. I got the shades Toffee and Coco. I am wearing Toffee today with MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. This is what Toffee looks like. Packaging is like just functional. It's cute. I wouldn't say it's luxurious, but it's definitely not cheap. Um, it's cute. It's pink. It has a little J symbol in gold, and I can appreciate it. There's more colors of this that I wanted, but there were no testers on the display, so I couldn't really see the actual colors, but I would go back and get other colors in the future. Also got Coco, which is, I guess I'm just feeling this 90s vibe, you know, I'm about to turn 30 in a few months. I'm a 90s baby, born in 91. 
I'm just feeling the 90s vibe. Um, this is in the shade Coco. It's just a dark, rich, brown, like, who is she? Is she Moesha? We don't know. Like, that is what this is, okay? Things I got from Ulta were some other lippies. I got this NYX Liquid Suede lipstick in Club Hopper. I have the NYX lip liner pencil in the same shade, so I wanted to pick this up. Gotta say though, guys, not super impressed with the formula. Not really long lasting. I probably will not buy another NYX Liquid Suede lipstick. Um, I just don't like the formula and that's kind of a close-up of the color there, but really pretty for fall. Whenever I wear the NYX Club Hopper lip liner and this together, this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Rome. Okay, I wish I had the lip liner to show you, but this is the color of the lip liner and this is the liquid lipstick. I get so many compliments with this lip combination, guys. And you need it. If you're near my skin color, even if you are a little lighter, you need it. I will have everything in the down box below so that you can see, you know, and click on the link and go exactly where you need to go to purchase these, but so good. Okay, sorry if the lighting is a little different and if the angle is a little different, I had to change my camera battery. My battery died, so sorry about that. And it's daylight savings time and the sun sets fast around here. So um, just gonna power through. So like I was saying, this is a really great combo if you're similar skin tone to me. Both of these are by NYX and I love them so much. I wanted to get another red lippy. Now, the only red lippy I have is a red lip liner from NYX. Can't remember exactly the shade that it's in, but I like it, but, and I do like that, but you need a red lipstick. You know what I mean? Like when you really feel in those Selena vibes, you need a red lipstick. And I'm sorry Selena's just on my mind because the Netflix documentary series, not documentary series, but the Netflix series about Selena is supposed to come out next month in December and they better not mess it up because like, I don't know one Texan that's gonna be happy if they mess that up, okay? I saw AOC Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, I hope I'm saying her name right, and she said that she loves this one. This is just a really blue-based red, which is great if you have her skin tone or color. Don't get me wrong, like this will be flattering on me too. I just go for a, a different tone of red usually, but switching it up, okay? In honor of Selena, anything for Selena's. Um, so I got this. Like I said, really pretty. It's just a really bright red. Okay, that is actually all the stuff I got from Ulta now. Let's hop into the stuff I got from Sephora. Honestly, just a few things. So my friend Michaela, which if you're watching this Michaela, hello, hit me up and she was like, girl, you know that foundation that we use from Cover FX is 50% off. And I was like, your word? <laughs> I'm paraphrasing. I don't even talk like that, but I, I am drinking coffee right now. And so I'm super hyper. But anyways, like all the shades in this Cover FX Power Play foundation uh, was on sale and I'm in the shade N90. I'm actually running super low on my current bottle of this. So I was like, might as well, it's 50% off. And that's basically cheaper than anywhere I've ever seen it ever. So I got it and Cover FX is a good brand if you have super sensitive skin. Um, if you're not aware, it's, anyways, I, I can't remember it. It's not really saying on this packaging, but Typically, if you have sensitive skin, this is like a good brand to go with. And they have a pretty good color variety and selection. Like I said, I'm in the shade N90. The packaging is just like plastic bottle, nothing luxurious, but it's durable. It works. It's nice. The tube comes out like this and you just kind of like squeeze it out on a sponge or a brush. I really like the finish of this foundation. It is almost kind of like a... Um, smooth powdery like finish. I would say it's medium coverage. You could build it up a little bit. I don't know if you can build it up to full coverage, but it's just really, really nice. And when I started wearing this, um, maybe last spring, like 
2019, like February 2019 or so, I would get a lot of compliments on my foundation and on my skin, and it was always just this. So I really, really, really recommend this. I don't think they're going to sell this at Sephora anymore. I think what they were doing is kind of clearing out the house there, but they have it at Ulta and obviously the Cover Up X website you can get this from. I also did get the concealer um, that is like close to my skin tone. My skin has been looking bomb right now, which probably is thanks to this cleanser I told you about and this moisturizer and my vitamin C serum and just me sleeping and trusting God and believing Jesus for all the great things. But sometimes when I have um, breakouts and they leave little scars or marks, I like to have a flesh tone, skin tone concealer, not something I can highlight with. Or sometimes I just like to put on concealer and a little bit of powder and go and not have a full face. So the shade I use for that in the Cover Up X concealer is in deep one in stands for neutral if i'm that's not clear so this is neutral deep one and then the um foundation is neutral 90 is my shade and just really good i would say this is like a medium coverage concealer pretty thin it's nice there's really nothing bad to say about it unless you're wanting something super thick and full this is not it it's a true medium coverage concealer and i like it this is actually my second this is my second repurchase of this. Um, and I have the lighter shade in my bathroom too to do some highlighting, but I wish there was more colors of this. To me, there's not enough variety in the color range of the concealers. There's a pretty good variety in the foundation, but with the concealers, they could do a little better. They could help a sister out a little more, but yes. Okay, and then is this the last thing? Oh wait, no. Second to the last thing is just a repurchase for me. This is the... Beauty Blender Cleanser Solid Charcoal Plus Silicone Scrub Matte. I use this to clean my beauty blenders, my makeup brushes. I just find that, I don't know why I smelled that, but it's just like a thing of soap that cleans your beauty blenders and makeup brushes. I can really clean my makeup brushes with anything like Dawn Soap. I used to use um, baby shampoo for that and that's so great. But for whatever reason, the beauty blenders or my beauty bakery sponges, the, so the makeup just really gets in there and it's harder to clean it and get it like super squeaky clean. So that is why I like to have this because it just makes the process a lot easier. This is not super cheap. This is like $40, but um, I don't know if I mentioned, but I everything I got from Sephora and Ulta was on sale. Sephora was running a 20% off promotion and then Ulta was like $20 off 100 or something like that. So I do try to only buy this this particular thing on sale because that's just a lot for essentially soap. The last thing I got, guys, I'm this is my most this is my most exciting Sephora purchase purchase right now. Yep, it is. This is the oh, I'm going to butcher this name. Sola Wuso. Solo Uso Gentle Cleansing Oil. Packaging is pretty legit, guys. Looks like this. This is just a cleansing oil to take off your makeup. I do not use makeup wipes anymore because they tug at your skin um, and they're not good for the environment. They actually do not disintegrate into like the earth or whatever. So it's not good for the earth and it's really not good at your skin to tug that. And I also find like, honestly, cleansing my face this way, double cleansing is bomb. And I actually do prefer it. And I feel like it makes my skin look better. So essentially what I would do, like if I'm about to take my makeup off for the day, and this is packaged really nicely. So the pump is packaged separately. So obviously I haven't used this yet, but I'll just pump a little bit into dry hands. Actually, I think that's how I'm supposed to use this one. That's normally how I do it. Okay, pump twice into dry hands and massage by circling around your forehead, nose, cheeks to cleanse. When the makeup residues and impurities are melted, rinse with lukewarm water without wiping off with tissues. So yeah, that's essentially how I use all of my cleansing oils, makeup cleansing balms. I did try the one from Elemy. I, I wasn't that impressed. I, I'm excited to try this. I've had a, I've heard a lot of good things about this brand. I believe it's a Japanese brand. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm sure it will be great. Um, excited to try it. All right, that is all I have for my support and Ulta haul. I hope that that was enjoyable 
for you. It was enjoyable for me. It's enjoyable for me to look at all my pretty new little babies. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products that I mentioned today. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified when I make new videos. I will see you in my next one. Bye.